Hey guys, I am back with another tutorial video, and this video will be how to sculpt hair on figureheads. So what I use to sculpt is Aft's epoxy sculpt. They are really, really good to use, better than the last sculpting material I used, which is Milliput. Well, I like the I like this one better because it's really clean. Like, I don't like the yellow look. Yeah, it just works really well. And um, the tools I use is a screwdriver. And to like, I'll show you later. I'll show you later. And I also use a pen. I know I'm a cheap person. I don't use fancy tools. But I find whatever works. This is the head I'll be using for the sculpting tutorial video. As you can see, this is Damien Sandow's head. Um, I shaved the hair, the side of the hair, and the eyebrows. See, this is before. This is after. What I use to shave. Um, it's a electric eraser and sandpaper this, this works really well it's, it feels like you're shaving actual hairs like you're shaving so it makes that sound so yeah I shaved the eyebrows with it too yeah you just shave it and then you sand it later to trim it. As you guys can see, I shaved a part of the beard there. Here's the difference. Yeah, this works really well. Like it carves through the plastic and makes it smooth. Like what like what I did with the hair. And if you guys are wondering what head I'm making for this tutorial, making a Mari Skull custom head. I've made I've made one with a Curtis Axel head. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys probably saw that. But I think this head is more accurate because of the eyes and the facial expression. Damien Sandow works really well. So the first thing you do, you grab a piece of clay from both A and B. This is B, this is A. That's a good amount, alright. It has to be the same amount on each. A good technique is to like roll it up into a, a sphere to measure. See this one is a little bit bigger. So I'm going to take a little piece out. Yep, that works. And uh, then you mix it. This takes a couple of minutes to mix. So after mixing it, what you want to do now is to place it on top of the head. After placing the clay on the head, this is what you need the screwdriver for to trim it and make the edges straight. As you can see, I added the ponytail there. But now we're on to the details. This is what you need the pen for. The details. It's the fun part about the sculpting. And what you want to do is start from the, the hairline. And then you want to stroke it all the way to the back, like that.
You want to make it realistic. As you can see, these two lines are not far from far away from each other. Here's the finished detail. It looks really good so far. It will look even better after painting it. But you have to wait for like an hour or more to dry. For it to dry, it will become hard. And then that's when you get to paint on it. I will be repainting the beard also. So yeah, see you in the next clip. It's been two hours and the clay is not fully dried yet. By this point, you should get a wet napkin to wipe out the little clay crumbs so it's clean you can see the little pieces of crumbs in there After you're done painting the head, now you're gonna seal it with Mod Podge. I got this one from Amazon as well. And yet the paint must be dry before you paint it. What's good about Mod Podge is that it gets rid of those um the light the light part of the plastic. Like after you sand it, then the plastic becomes lighter. And it gets rid of the light part. Alright guys, it took about 15 minutes for it to fully dry, and I think it's still drying, but um, yeah, this is a Marty Skull custom head skin, pretty well done, as you can see, like, you, you see no light part of the plastic, well you can see a little bit, it's still looking good. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe if you want more tutorials like this. And uh, yeah, hope you, hope this helps. Hope this tutorial helps. And follow me on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you're missing out a lot of stuff. I post like behind the scenes, stop motions and stuff. And uh, yeah, I post more customs there too. So if you guys didn't follow my Instagram, you guys are missing out a lot. So. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot one thing. Peace.